Welcome to Sidza.com. Now in this video we will learn about the reaction of alcohols with halogen acids. In our last video we learned that there are certain reactions in which hydrogen from the alcohol you know can be replaced by different types of groups. Okay. Now we'll discuss uh, the reactions where this OH group can be replaced from the alcohol. So that means the bond breaking now will take place between the carbon and oxygen here. Okay? So this carbon oxygen bond break breaking takes place. And we can do it when you react the alcohols with the alkyl halides. And what will happen here? The halogen will replace the OH and you get the alkyl halide plus water. So let's take here an example. Suppose you got the CH3, CH2, OH, ethanol, when you react with hydrochloric acid, HCl, what do you get? You get CH3, CH2, here the hydroxide will be replaced by the chlorine, right? The bond breaking will take place here, and this OH will react with the hydrogen, that will form the water, chlorine will react with the carbon, and you get CH3, CH2Cl. This is a substitution reaction, nucleophilic substitution reaction, and you get here the water. Okay. And normally, you know, uh, the reagent, the catalyst that we use here is anhydrous zinc chloride. So the reaction takes place here in presence of the uh, the zinc chloride as a catalyst here. And the different types of you know uh, alcohols have different reactivities. Okay. So the most reactive alcohol here in this uh, substitution reaction, in this uh, nucleophilic substitution reaction is a tertiary one, right? So that means the order of reactivity, okay? The order of reactivity, order of reactivity of the different alcohols will be tertiary alcohol is more reactive than secondary, which is more reactive than primary, okay? Here you can see that at carbon, with three alkyl groups, three, suppose here, methyl groups or whatever uh, are these, right? Uh, this type of an alcohol will be more reactive than a secondary alcohol, the one with two alkyl groups only and hydrogen. So this secondary alcohol is less reactive than tertiary and primary is actually the least reactive alcohols, okay? So here you can say the order of reactivity, you know, here is primary is least, tertiary alcohol is the most reactive alcohol, you know, uh, alcohol, most reactive alcohol. And among the, you know, halogen acids here, halogen acids uh, have the order of reactive, order of reactivity, order of uh, reactivity among the halogen acids is, HI is more reactive than HBr, which is more reactive than HCl, which is more reactive than HF. Now let's take certain examples here. If you got here a molecule like this, CH3, CH3 here, H here, and you got uh, the OH here, and we react with the HBr. So what do you get? You get here the hydroxide will be replaced by the bromine. So you get the CH3, CH3 here, H, Br is there, and form with the water. If you look at the mechanism, you know how does this particular reaction occurs? Basically, the reaction takes place with the formation of a carbocation. Okay. So when we look at the mechanism of this reaction, how this particular reaction occurs, first thing is the proton, right, H plus sign in acidic medium due to the protonation with the hydroxide group, okay, due to protonation, so it releases the hydroxide group as a water because 
when proton forms a bond with it oxygen gets a positive charge right because oxygen has lone pair of electrons and that lone pair of electron will form a bond with the hydrogen and then water comes off you get a carbocation right after that it is the attack of the nucleophile br negative on it and you get the ch3 here h is here h is here and br is here okay it is actually ch3 here it is ch3 here right and you get the br so that means the intermediate that you see in this reaction is a carbocation right so the reaction occurs with the formation of a carbocation as an intermediate and we know that carbocations can undergo rearrangement so in that case you may get more than one product let's take an example if you have this molecule ch3c h ch3 here ch3 h here and the oh is here if you react with the hcl here this molecule so what will happen the same thing so what will come off right protonation will occur on this one so then you can intermediate ch3 here h h here ch3 here and the carbocation here because you know water is lost here right this one due to protonation it will attack on it so then water will come off right oh will react with this one and you get a carbocation and look at this one this is the secondary carbocation right this is the two degree carbocation right and when nucleophile attacks on it when the br when the cl negative here attacks on this particular carbocation what do you get you get this molecule h ch3 and br will be here right bromine will be here but carbocations can undergo rearrangement we know that so here so here in this molecule what will happen this hydrogen with the electron pair will shift towards this carbocation so this is called as a hydride shift right h negative shift hydride shift due to hydride shift when you know the hydrogen shifts to this particular carbocation adjacent carbocation here with both electrons going to this one it forms a bond with this so you get an intermediate like this now you get a c ch3 here and ch and you get one more hydrogen over here and the ch3 is here right and this particular carbon now will get a positive charge so you can look at this particular carbon carbocation this is tertiary carbocation this is a 3 degree carbocation okay this is 3 degree carbocation and we know that tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation right tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation and it is this stability right more stability which is the driving force for the hydride hydri hydri shift you know you can ask why this hydride shift takes place the hydride shift takes place so that it can get a more stable carbocation right so that the intermediate can gain a little bit more stability and when and when the nucleophile attacks on it right the cl negative attacks on it on this particular carbon what do you get you get this one ch3 ch3 here chlorine will be here now and you get a ch2 CH3. So basically, you got two products, right? Sorry, in this case, it's not the bromine. The nucleophile here is the chlorine. So you can see it is Cl, right? It is Cl here. So you get two types of products here, okay? Two different types of products. But this one, you know, will be the major product, and this one will be the minor product. Why? Just because that you have two types of intermediates you know in the reaction mixture 
there will be the both carbo you know carbo cations secondary as well as tertiary right hope you got the concept thanks for watching the video bye for now